Hey guys, Randall Sampson here. So we are coming to you from the Wakelet Boathouse. And I am here with the lovely first mate co-captain, Brandy Reams in the house. Hi everyone, uh, so glad to be here today. We are here with Raina Freeman, and we are really excited to hear what she has to share with us today. Um, we have a lot of really juicy stuff uh, pertaining to education, and we might even get a peek into something non-education related, but that's going to be a huge hit. So if we're lucky and if we're good, we might get a little peek of that. So um, Raina, if you could introduce yourself and tell us what we're going to see here. So I'm Raina Friedman. I teach fifth grade in Mansfield, Massachusetts. I've been teaching for 20 years. And I'm also president of MassQ, which is ISTE's Massachusetts affiliate. And I am here to talk about how I use Wakelet as a professional learning tool and a parent communication tool. That is awesome. That and is then, awesome. So we are just thrilled to have somebody from Massachusetts, right? So we are in the land of the free, home of the brave, yep. Massachusetts kind of doing it all. And Massachusetts is actually the gold standard for education in the entire country. Yeah, um, so yeah. you guys are doing something very dynamic, something very unique. And now you're using Wakelet to kind of mix it up into your awesome sauce. I um, absolutely so just am. Walk us through, you know, how you're using Wakelet and, and go into your collection um, that you're using Wakelet. All right. So it's, if I can scan it, there we go. So I actually use Wakelet for a few things. Number one, one of the things I find as an edu busy educator is it's hard to keep track of all the articles I read, right? And about how information I get that are, is coming with me, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, colleagues, whatnot. This went all the way down, sorry. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, if I, yes, there we go. So one of the things I do is I always save articles now. I used to email them to myself and then end up with a pile of, you know, emails this long in my inbox of articles to read. But now I don't have to do that because with the Wakelet app, I'm able to save the articles right to my collections. So I have um, articles that grow your mind because they've made me stretch my thinking and I have articles that I actually have written or been a part of. So I kind of keep them there. And this way, when I go to share with other educators, I'm sharing a collection of 31 or 38 articles versus an email after email after email. Yes. And I, right. And I think just modeling this practice of curating articles into one place for other educators who might not be familiar with Wakelet is huge. I completely agree with that. And that was actually one of the biggest selling factors for me as far as using Wakelet. Um, I used to send my newsletters through email every week and then, you know, you get tons of responses. Well, what happened to this one? And I lost the link and, right. lost, you know, so this cuts out that middleman, so to speak. Yep. And it's just a great way to be able to pull something up quickly when someone's asking for something because it's right there. Yeah. So I have used it for that. The other piece I've used it for is for other educators that are busy with different ways to do hyperdocs, ways to spark students, resources to get you started with making. These are just all things that I came across via social media that I just didn't want to have on sticky notes in my apartment. So therefore, I've made the sticky notes right here. So one of the things I've done is I've act this one right here. I actually, um, we had the 2008 Reading Street forever. Um, it was 2018 and we were still doing 2008 Reading Street. So I actually created hyperdocs for a variety of the Reading Street stories to make learning more interactive and engaging for students and bring the book alive versus just an anthology. So I was able to put all my hyperdocs here to share with educators who are looking for kind of the same thing that are using the same story and they're all in one place and totally free because we share things here. And then I find that sometimes some of the content areas like rather than worksheets, try this. It was just things I found that teachers could do rather than give a worksheet. Perfect. So one of the things that I do is every week we do a week in review. This is the one I was looking for. So I use, um, I take pictures all week and they're shared on Instagram and Facebook, but not every parent has an Instagram or Facebook account, right? And I also share the photos to Google photo album, but they're missing captions, right? So they don't actually have what we're doing. So what I started doing was using Adobe Spark, was creating a week in review using the photos with captions. And sometimes the kids help me. And then I uploaded to YouTube 
And then I take the YouTube link and I've curated all of our weekend reviews for the last year and a half in this wakelet. So that way parents can see what we've done a year ago all the way to now in case they're wondering what we've done in the past and what things look like. So if parents click on it, they go right to the video and they're all together and then I'm able to sort of share this link out to families. And I can share it via email, Facebook and Twitter. And so that way parents really can understand what's going on. And I've been told that this one wakelet has changed the conversation at the, in the household because parents can say, oh, I saw that you were drawing simple machines. Can you tell me about that versus what did you do in school today? Or I saw you played oops. What was that? This is awesome. And so I'm able to sort of use a variety of tools. So app smashing with wakelet right here because we have Adobe Spark. YouTube, photos, Instagram, Facebook, all in one place. Yeah, this is a massive app smash right here. Right? And it's just great to be able to show the parents what's going on. Here we now, go. Now, the great really? thing about it is, like you said, the, the parents can click on it, the kids can click on it. But if I'm a kid, what I look like in the fall versus yes. what I look like in the spring. They look so little. Yeah. And so it's like a big difference just physically, right? And then... Yep. Also, the, the production of stuff, you, they're just learning it in the fall, and then they get better as it as the uh, year goes. They can reflect back on that. Yeah. Right. I mean, and you know, I'm also sitting here thinking as a student, if I know that something like this is coming, I am much more likely to be engaged in your activity because I know that what I'm doing is going to be featured and highlighted. Yep. So and then instead of me complying, I now have authentic engagement. Yeah, which is huge. And then the other thing we do, which is more of a global piece on Wakelet, is we do Positive Sign Thursday all over the world. And it literally is a sign that has a positive message, and it's shared on Twitter. And the kids hold up signs from all over the place, and then I curate all the all the day's positive signs into one wakelet and then share it out with all the schools so the kids can see how far their reach is and see how other schools are doing it and what other signs there are and the one thing that i like is i work in a primarily white school district so my kids are able to see all kids doing this sign especially kids that don't look like them and i think it's important for them to see that yeah and the kids don't have control over who you're you're born to or what right. zip code you're born into and who your parents are and, and all those circumstances that they can't control. Um, no. But this is an opportunity for them to control the narrative of this is who I am and I'm yep. interested to see who you are and connect with other people. Yep, and teachers can share the wakelet the next day at school so the kids can see kind of how the globe is coming together versus I'm just standing with the sign. Like it's so much bigger than me with the sign. So is this... Um, so this is your school, but then you also oh, well, the picture I'm others. showing, I don't even know who those kids are, to be honest. Okay, they, so you just search Twitter, um, this hashtag, Positive yep. Sign Thursday? Yep. And then you just curate them all in one place. You put them all in one place, so that way people can see all around the globe where these signs are coming from. Like, I don't know who any of these people are, but it's great to see that they're out there with a the positive message. And then there's a group of us that use the same mm -hmm. sign, but we're from all over the country. So we have it in a Google slide, so we just print it out, and then we take the picture and we post them on Twitter with the hashtag, and then I, every Thursday night, curate all of the positive sign Thursdays from the day. And I try to do it probably late, as late as possible because of people in Hawaii doing it. That's right. Because they're six hours behind. But it started with, um, I believe, a principal in Chicago, and then this man right here, Brian McCann, brought it to Massachusetts. You might yeah, know, Brian. I know Brian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So he brought it to Massachusetts and said, Hey, like I have this thing I'm doing. What do you think? And he literally, the principals, it's awesome. I mean, they get on the bus, they meet the kids outside, they meet the kids in the hallway. And then Brian actually takes all his signs for the year and hangs them up all over the school building. Oh, that is awesome. So when we're talking about like a, uh, um, just the curation and, and, an app smashing you could almost take just the qr codes from this yes and post them all over the building as well you could do that too if your school used those kind of devices yeah yeah 
Yep. Mm -hmm. And then I have an entire section of parent communication examples, like how we did student led conferences with kids and all the work that they did is in there. It's just Wakelet's such a great way to be able to encourage other educators to take some risks. Now right. I'm, I'm loving the whole concept of the parent communication, but you yep. just intrigued me there. Go ahead. So you got the student led conferences yep. using yep. Wakelet. Uh, yeah. So how, how do you envision that working? How does that actually work? Or how do you think it should work? So one of the things that I find when kids are doing student-led conferences with me is I'm one of the only teachers that does it. So they're really nervous to do it, right? So Wakelet allows me to provide examples of other kids doing it that, and that have come before them. So that way they can see that it's not so scary. That if this child my age can get up and do it and mine looks like that, then I'm able to do it. Because you can see the student right there in the picture um, has his Google site up. So all my students do digital portfolios in Google sites. And then they get up like an amphitheater style and share it. But Wakelet allowed me to take pictures of every student and put a caption underneath it. So that way kids can see, hey, this isn't so bad. Other kids have done it. And I think sometimes kids need that hump. Mm -hmm. Even adults. Oh, so-and-so did it. So I should be able to do it, right? It's like that, like, Talk, self talk. Yeah. So this really allows other kids to be able to see, hey, I can do this. And here are some examples. And the other piece of this is I can then send it home to parents. Oh, that's amazing. That's right. Amazing. So, like, look, at, I don't know, I'm going to go off. Look at their face. Like, they're just so involved in what they're talking about. But I'm able to put everything in one place now. Like, I don't have to send families an individual picture anymore. Right. And it's I find it easier to caption and wakelet than in other tools. It's just so seamless. So now we're, we're kind of digging a little deeper here yep. and we're, we're getting close to the end, but I know at the beginning, Brandy told us that there is something very tantalizing that yep. you're growing up and uh, thinking about. So if you want to share some of that. Yeah, I haven't done it yet because we're on hold with everything going on with, in the country at the current moment. Okay. But for those of you who don't know, I was diagnosed with stage 3B colon cancer in September and I've had multiple surgeries and now I'm part of what's called Colon Town, which is Facebook groups that are considered neighborhoods about how to handle like your stage, things like even like dealing with your hair, your teeth, like just everything and anything. And one of the things that the groups were talking about is information is flying, but not curated anywhere. So I started talking about Wakelet in the group. And if, I mean, uh, my ed tech knowledge is different than other people's. I think we all start with where, where we are. And they were a little like, what is this? So then I explained it. And I think we're going to look at using Wakelet as a way to curate all of our colon cancer work that we've done because sharing articles in Facebook is one thing, but then you get to scroll through or do a find or a search to find it. Whereas Wakelet's really going to support our colon cancer needs because you can have different collections for the different groups we have on Facebook and just feed all the articles and information and Twitter things and whatnot into one place. Oh, that's that amazing. Right? <laughs> yeah, well, because it also allows for, you know, video, mm -hmm. text, articles, so everything can kind of come together in one place so people don't have to run around finding it on Facebook or going, hey, I remember three weeks ago, somebody posted this, where can I find it? And that's what alluded me to tell them about Wakelet. So we're in the process of having conversations with the people who run Colon Town, because it's a nonprofit, mm -hmm. about actually getting this up and off the ground. And then what, and then obviously, I mean, one of the things that I always tell people is you need all like the people in the room that you want to be involved with it. And then what do you want it to look like? You know, what are our collections? How do you want to organize and then go from there? But I see it as a really valuable tool for people with cancer because everything can be in one spot. You could probably have a cancer wakelet and then have collections and then other collections within that, right? For different types of cancer. That is really, really cool. And I think that just the support group system in general, you know, it may be a different type of cancer or a totally different type of diagnosis, um, you know, families that have children with special needs, you know, this could be something right. revolutionary that can start to help all of these different communities. So I think that you're starting something that is going to be 
globally life-changing. Well, because right now we only reach the people in Colin town, right? But a wakelet and granted like the human connection and the conversation is important. And I know sometimes wakelet might be a little bit more here's it, pushing information and sharing it versus that conversation piece, but it allows for everything to be together, which is what people really are looking for when they're like, you know, in that moment of, oh my God, what is going on with this? Like, even like, you know, my dad got, um, one of the things they talk about is if you bleed, right, when you floss, you might need a water picker. Well, before my dad bought it, I would have liked to have had resources about what happens when you bleed and your teeth and whatnot. And I had to go and like dig that all out myself. Whereas if there was a wake litter that had that, at least I would have something to go to. This is going to be amazing. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, we're, you know, we're going to talk about it, obviously, when everything sort of dies down and everyone, I'm thinking now people might have more time on their plate. When we originally started the conversation, everybody was super busy with life, right? Because it's good that we're all living. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said before, I mean, Massachusetts is the beacon. Uh, It is definitely the, the, the state that leads and it sounds yeah, like definitely. you are onto something unique here. And well, who um, knew Wakelet could be used for care? <laughs> right? It wasn't something I thought about when I started using it, right? It's an, I looked at it like an educational tool. And then when something impacts you, you're like, oh, this tool could be used for this. Yeah. Right. So it's much bigger than I think people realize. And I hope people really do find the value in using it and sharing it, especially when it comes to some different audiences like parents. Yeah, absolutely. And so you and I were yep. sitting in a breakout session in Orlando. Yes, at, you inspired me to try this. It was your session that got me hooked. Yeah, so was, <laughs> where were we? FETC 2019? You were at FETC 2019. Yes, I was supposed to be there 2020, but obviously life had other plans. Yeah, yeah. So and then we, we didn't have a clue about any of this. We, this wasn't even part of the equation. It was yep. just, I'm going to do the session on Wakelet. And I think we even did a little bit of dancing. We um, did. You videotaped us. Yeah. Jumping around. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We did the jump around. I mean, uh, I so, you know. All that. <laughs> <laughs> you might still have it. If you didn't I think I do. It. I think I do. So that, that's all part of it. You never know. Yeah, you never know when the inspiration happens. You never know when things happen. And uh, I'm just glad that you picked it up and, and made it happen. Um, yeah. You ran with it. Yeah. So we're going to wrap it up. And I think this has been an absolutely great session. Um, Brandy, is there any, any last things that, that you want to say and then we'll pass it on? I'm just, I mean, I'm blown away by this. You have so many great resources just here within your page. I'm really excited to see what you are able to do with the Wakelet for the colon cancer groups. Yeah. Um, I might be in contact with you to get some guidance on something that I'm now thinking I would of. be happy to do that. That's uh, what this is all about, connecting. That's right. So I just, I'm really excited to see where this takes you, and I okay. hope that I can follow you along the way. Yeah, I'm excited for this journey, whatever it is. <laughs> well, guys, I appreciate it. We appreciate everybody being here watching. Uh, continue to ride the Wakelet Wave. And we'll see you at the boathouse chatting it up. Yeah. Bye. Bye.